Hi, I'm George and welcome to part 14 of the Horizon series. This week we're going to have a look at our first sustainer test flight and something else. Uh, you'll see that in a minute. Uh, anyway, let me introduce you to the two sustainers. They each have their own name. One's called Lumpy and the other one's called Sandy. And here are some of their specs. The main difference is that Lumpy uses a stronger and heavier sleeve, while Sandy has a lighter reinforcement sleeve and also has a little more volume. With the sustainers ready for flight, we headed up to Thunder 2 at Funny Farm in Queensland for this launch. I've added links in the description to other videos from this international launch event. To better simulate how the sustainer will be supported by the booster segments in the second stage, we created a tower attachment for our quick launcher. Here we're assembling it before heading out to launch. This can just be bolted onto the guide rail when we need it. And here it is assembled at the launch site as we do a test fit. Lumpy was going to be the first off the pad. We also attach the staging mechanism to the launcher because this is what will release the sustainer on the booster. We're trying to do integration tests as much as we can along the way. Then we attach the deployment mechanism to the pressure chamber. And also pack the parachute. I've had to mute the sound from some of these clips because they played commercial music through the PA system and YouTube doesn't really like that. The nose cone was then locked into position. For the first flight we filled it with 2 litres of plain water. Then the whole rocket gets loaded into the launcher. and is locked into place. Then the rocket gets carried out to the launcher already on the guide rail. The launcher now is about 50 meters away from the base. We first needed to configure the remote launcher and also connect it up to the release mechanism. Here we are connecting the scuba tank to the launcher. We are using high pressure hoses for everything. Just before launch, we turn on all the electronics and cameras. The rocket then gets lifted up onto the legs and locked in place. So if you look out uh, in front, you'll see a yellow ball and this big tall red rocket. That is a water rocket that George Jax is now uh, assembling. It is just about ready to get it pressurised, it will give me the signal to say it's going to take a few minutes to get pressurised. Once it's pressurised, it will give me the go and he will launch this bird into the sky. We do a quick check to make sure everything is armed and that all cameras are rolling. So time came to pressurise the rocket. The rocket filled quite quickly towards the 1000 psi mark. 500 psi at the moment. 700. 700. 700 psi. This rocket's meant to be bending. Oh no. Then not only us, but others too started noticing that something was a little bit off nominal. From where we were standing, it wasn't quite as obvious as from other angles. Here it is sped up 16 times. We're going to abort. 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 The rocket looks like it's bending over a little bit. And there you have it. Conclusive proof that the horizon is curved. Leave your jokes in the comments below, we'll pin the best one. And again from a different angle. We aborted the flight as we got to about 900 psi. It took a couple of minutes to fully depressurize. Now that was a failure we did not foresee, and we really haven't seen one like that in the past. So what happened? The short story is that there was just too much heat and the epoxy in the pressure chamber got soft. We'll leave the detailed explanation for a separate video. But in the meantime, we still had a second sustainer to try for exactly these sorts of reasons. It was time to give Sandy a go. We filled it with water and then set it up on the pad. Because of the heating issue with Lumpy, we decided to pressurize Sandy very slowly. We also decided to launch at a lower pressure so that we could get at least one good launch in. This was only about half the pressure of what we originally intended. We were a little more worried with this rocket because Sandy has even thinner walls. Okay, we're at 495, we're gonna launch. 495, we're about to launch. 
load all the grain. Okay. And we're launching in five, four, three, two, one, launch. <laughs> <laughs> and we've got a shoot. There we go. Well done, George. During pressurization, the rocket also bent slightly, but it was still safe enough to launch. And here it is from a few different angles. And here is an onboard view of the same flight. We were happy to get at least one flight in. It is bent, yeah. Uh, it might have bent under acceleration too. The onboard altimeter gave us a maximum altitude of 1,372 feet, which was a little lower than the predictions for this pressure, and this was mostly due to the weather cocking because there was a really strong wind blowing at the time. The parachute deployed as expected and brought the rocket down for a safe landing. We decided not to fly it again as the rocket also had a slight bend in it and we weren't sure how bad it might get at the higher pressures. The good news is that we already have a plan to fix it before trying again. Okay, so this was a minor setback, but since there's really no instructions on how to build these high power rockets, occasionally you're going to have some issues that needs to be resolved. Uh, but we've certainly learned a great deal from, the, from this launch and there were lots of positives that came out of it. Uh, the deployment mechanism worked well. Our launcher worked well with the stager. We did get a rocket launched and none of them exploded. Uh, though, you know, they came in back in the wrong shape. That's okay. Uh, and all of our ground procedures were also okay. So uh, we were quite happy with that. We were originally going to include the full explanation of what happened in this video, but that would have made it too long. Um, so we'll leave it for the next one. In that video, we'll also show you some experiments uh, that deal with heat and also some potential solutions, one of which we actually tried at the launch site, uh, but you'll have to wait for that. Anyway, that's all for this week. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Abort, abort. The rocket looks like it's bending over a little bit. <laughs>